Nine, for dads and partners. I know you are super excited about your baby or babies coming soon, but I'll bet you're scared too, in a different way than your spouses. There is a lot of focus on the woman, of course, because she is going to be enduring the actual pain of childbirth. You can take the time to learn about all the stages of pregnancy, labour, and delivery, and how to bond with your newborn. But obviously, you cannot know exactly what it feels like to carry and birth a newborn. So you may start having doubts about how you will be able to handle it all. What many people, especially those who have never hired a midwife or doula, don't consider is that the dad or partner in the delivery room. Has his her own issues as well. I would like to strongly suggest that you at least try to set those uncomfortable thoughts aside. Did you know that men who are present at their child's birth are more likely to get and stay involved in the care and nurturing of them? You may not realize this, but years ago, men weren't even allowed in the delivery room. Guys had to wait in the waiting room. Pacing as they waited for their offspring to be sprung. Today, however, about ninety percent of dads are taking a hands-on approach in the birthing process. I'm personally elated about this. Dr. Robert Bradley wrote the book *Husband Coached Childbirth* in 1974, in which he empowered men to take as crucial a role in the birthing process as possible. At the time. Bradley was both hailed as a champion for men's rights to be in the delivery room, but also criticised as someone who was trying to advocate controlling women. This book gave birth to the Bradley method. In fact, there are classes still running today in the U.S. based on this method. Sure, there are all sorts of things you'll need to figure out and plan for, such as choosing nursery furniture, going through tons of names for your baby. And taking Lamar's or other classes with your spouse, but guys, I'll bet you may still feel out of place when attending the birth of your child. So, what do you believe you should do? You've probably heard the horror stories about being called every name in the book and being clawed, scratched, bitten, and blamed for every single issue on the planet. It can be difficult watching someone you love in pain, and I will tell you this. Childbirth is definitely painful. In this section, I'm going to give you advice on the best way, in my opinion, you can prepare for your baby and help your woman. I hope you utilize these, and I hope Mum thanks you profusely for doing so. Do not forget that your sole purpose at being in the birthing room with Mum is to provide strength and support. She will suffer considerable anxiety over the delivery, especially if it is her first time. She may have taken birthing classes with you alongside her, and she may have been told what it is going to be like by a multitude of different people. But until she actually experiences it for herself, she will be apprehensive. Once the baby is here, ask Mum what she needs for you to do. Does she want you to start calling your list of people? Or does she just want you to stay by her side and sleep, or what? Help her relax. She may still want a massage or back rub, and she'll still be feeling some pain. Above all, enjoy the moment and get as much rest as you can. You will want to pamper Mum at this point. She has been through a lot physically and emotionally. It would be a good time to show her how much you love and appreciate her. You may have asked someone to bring flowers that you picked out beforehand for this occasion. Pack her favorite chocolates. Hand write a love note while she rests. Whatever you decide to do, find a truly special way to mark this occasion. As the caring partner that you are, you will want to actively take part in the job of parenting, and that means sharing in the baby care duties as much as Mum wants you to, even at night. Your role is very important. Your physical presence and emotional strength will mean a great deal to Mum's feelings of security, and Mum will always remember everything you did to support her through labour and birth. 
reassure her on a continuous basis that you are going to be with her every step of the way. Congratulations.